Hey guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machine again. Today we're going to be cleaning a crusty square nose hole. So this hole was lent to me by a customer for some mock-up purposes. So I figured I'd help him out because he's helping me out and we'd clean this thing. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to use super heavy duty degreaser. This stuff's from Harbor Freight. I've been using it uh, 16 or 17 years. Um, it's awesome. So I basically just put it straight in a squirt bottle and then we're just going to spray it. We're going to let this sit, you know, for 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And then we are just going to take a light brush and brush it and then hose it out and you'll see how clean it is. This is really the easiest method I have found to doing it. There's a few other ways to do it. This is what I have found works. It's what we do when we reinforce holes and stuff like that. The biggest thing with this stuff is do not spray it on stickers and stuff like that because it will take that off. It's never taken paint off or anything like that on me, but um, if you sprayed it on a sticker, depending on the type of sticker it is, it could remove the ink from it. So let me finish spraying this all down. You can see it's nothing crazy, literally just a squirt bottle. We'll let it sit for a little bit and in about 15 minutes we'll come back to it. All right, so it's been sitting, I don't know, probably 10 minutes, not even 15. So I'm just gonna take a scotch Bright sponge. Um, you know, the brushes with a handle honestly work better than this. Um, this wasn't really a planned video, but, but now you can see I haven't done anything other than just spray the stuff on. And technically you could even use like a pressure washer to knock it off if you want. I just found this ends up working the best. So it really doesn't take much elbow grease. It just kind of comes off when you hit it. And when we hit it with a hose, it'll loosen it up even more. Well, you'll see over here, there was an exhaust leak at one time. It all comes off. So now, personally, I'm not a fan of painting the inside of hulls. It's more the fiberglass rep repair side of me. When you, you paint the inside of the hull, especially in an SMC boat, which you know, this is both SMC top and bottom deck sheet molded compound. It's really more of a plastic than a fiberglass. When you paint it, yeah, it looks beautiful. The whole problem is if you ever crack it, then you have to strip all the paint off and it's a real nightmare. You know, um, some of these get stained and you can just take Scotch-Brite and just hit it with Scotch-Brite and you know, it'll, it'll look way prettier than it did. Um, you know, if you want to paint it, I'm also not telling you not to. Um, I'm just not a fan of it because then the handful of boats that I've painted the inside of for customers, they've cracked them. And then I spend hours taking the paint off to do the fiberglass work and I hate myself. Um, which is the reason I stopped doing it. So, or you could just reinforce it. Um, you know, we'll, I'll end up reinforcing one of these skis sooner or later where we just grind the ribs down, we fill this with epoxy and foam, and then reinforce the entire hull, and we'll show you how to do that as well. So let me finish doing this, we'll fill it with water, and then we'll show you how it looks. All right. There we go. All right, so now it's just scrubbed, we haven't started rinsing it, we rinsed the other side down, but you'll see. Oh. 
right. the lens okay? Yeah, there's no bubbles on it yet. Oh, say the same for me face. Yeah, I got, and ironically, I have safety glasses on my head, but they're not <laughs> on my eyes. That's all right, v vision's overrated. Oh boy. Now it is time to drain the water on this thing. Get a look at the other side too. So, but you can see, I mean, this is literally maybe 10 minutes, five minutes of scrubbing, five minutes of spraying. Um, and you can see how clean it is. So what we will do, we will drain the water and then we'll show you how it looks then. So, but this gives you an idea with, you know, a little elbow grease and some super heavy duty degreaser, how nice, you know, it can look without going too in depth. Alrighty, give us a minute, we'll be right back. All right guys, so here we are, all finished. So you can see this isn't dirt, this is paint that is chipped off. So now, you know, if you wanted to paint it, you could just lightly hit it with um, Scotch-Brite or sandpaper to scuff it up to give it a surface for the painted here um, and paint it personally this is perfect for me you know whatever you're working on you're not going to get greasy it's clean you know granted it's a 30 year old ski so it's not going to be perfect like you can see over here there's some light staining that is what it is if you took sandpaper odds are that would come off so, but as I said, this is more getting used for a mock-up ski, which you guys will see that project coming up in the coming weeks, which is a neat project. So, but here it is. It's all done. Nice and clean. And, you know, probably took less than a half an hour to do the whole thing. Took more time to take the ski apart than to get it clean. So, and you can see even where it was like greasy around the water box is clean. So everywhere. Like always guys, please like, share, subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.